Welcome to the end of day three for Cheltenham 2013. You can see a hive of activity behind me. Most of the bookmakers, I should think, will be going back to their hotel rooms to count their money, or at least get in contact with Group 4 Securitas, given the results that we've had today. Let's deal uh, with the big races first. Solwit, so often a nearly horse, he's lived in the shadow of his rival Hurricane Fly for much of his career. He's had little luck when it comes to the Cheltenham Festival. He's just had uh, one run here. He had a cough before he was unplaced in the champion hurdle. He's also had a tendon injury, but today was his day. He won the Labrix World Hurdle from Celestial Halo, a 50 to one shot. The winner was 17 to two, and uh, that was a, a rare grade one winner in this country for Paul Carberry. Carberry admitted afterwards that maybe he hadn't had the success that his talent had deserved. Charles Burns, the trainer of the winner, admitted that he thought maybe Solwitz Day would never come. The other grade one event on the card was the Ryanair Chase. This was won by Q Card, a horse with a really good record at the Cheltenham Festival. Remember, he won the bumper here on his very first appearance three years ago. That was for Joe Tizard and Colin Tizard. He beat first lieutenant in second place. Elsewhere, it was a tale of woe as far as the punters were concerned. Beneficent, 20 to 1 in the opening Juice and Novices Trace, ridden by Brian Cooper, for whom winning trainer Tony Martin predicted great things. He's the next Ruby Walsh, said Martin. 25 to 1, Hollywell, that was in the per temps hurdle for John Joe O'Neill. First time blinkers ending a row of second placings for that horse. 50 to 1, Carrick Boy in the Burn Group Plate for Venetia Williams, who's had a stellar season in 2012 to 13, and also for Liam Treadwell, the Grand National winning jockey, whose career is undergoing a, weir, a real renaissance as a result of his second spell with the Venetia Williams Yard. Elsewhere, same difference, 16 to 1. That was in the Falk Woolwyn, Kim Muir. A serious footnote to that race, JT Mac McNamara aboard Galaxy Rock took a nasty fall and was airlifted to the French A Hospital in Bristol where it's reported that he was put into an induced coma. So that looks serious. We will continue to monitor that. Also a 16 to 1 victory for Big Shoe. That was in the Glen Farclas cross country chase which was going to be run on Tuesday. Then it was going to be run at 5.15 here today. Eventually it was off at 5.50 after one false start. Um, so that covers the racing for Thursday. Looking ahead to Friday, of course it's the Gold Cup. It's what we've all come to see. And this year's renewal is absolutely fascinating. I've gone for Bobsworth here. This horse is trained by Nicky Henson, sold to the trainer by Barry Geraghty, of course. Winner of the Hennessy Gold Cup back in um, the start of December at Newbury. Haven't seen him since. Remember, he's won two races here at the Cheltenham Festival dangers. Uh, well, certainly Sir Deschamps is one, but he will not be ridden by Davy Russell, uh, who has a punctured lung. Uh, a horse that I also thought had a, a good chance of making the frame there was Captain Chris. He was second to long run in the King George VI um, chase at Kempton over Christmas, but I think the extra distance which he tries for the first time will help this horse, who has a good festival record. We'll just whiz through the others. Uh, Rolling Star, I thought, for the Henderson team also. Uh, in the 130, the Triumph Hurdle. If and but why not? That's for um, emerging star David O'Meara, the trainer. That's in the 205, the County Hurdle. The 240 at Fisher's Cross for Becky Curtis and JP McManus. Then after the Gold Cup, the Amateurs Gold Cup, it's the Fox Hunter Chase. It's due off at four o'clock. Salsify won that last year. I think he can do so again. The 415, it's the Martin Pipe Conditionals Handicap Hurdle. Givry Chambertin uh, represents David Pipe, son of Martin. He's trying to win that race for the first time. I think he can do so here. And then finally, we will all go home after the Grand Annual Chase. I hope that that is won by the plot horse, Kid Cassidy, for Johnny Henderson, for Nicky Henderson, whose father, Johnny Henderson, is remembered in the title of the race. Well, I've gone on long enough. That's it for day three. Join us for more when we'll have a Gold Cup report for you. That's on Friday evening. Good night.